Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Beautiful Sunday here in the Eastern San Juan. We're just north of Bonita Pass, right about 11,000 feet. Riding in from the highway, we found really deep riding conditions. Um, and the storm cell was generally stable, didn't really see any signs of instability, cutting across steeper test slopes, haven't observed any cracking. Since Christmas, this part of the South San Juan zone has gotten almost 40 inches of snow. It's perfectly right side up, blower on the top, a little firmer as we get down to the old interface. Um, here in below tree line elevations, uh, we're not seeing instability in the storm snap, but we know as we move higher up, closer to ridges, this light fluffy snow will be easily transported into thicker and stiffer slabs. So we'll just need to be uh, paying attention to that as we move up in elevation. If we get a wind switch at some point after this storm, there's also gonna be a lot of fresh snow to easily drift on atypical slopes. Hey, so we're now here on a south aspect a little lower in elevation is our north facing pit. Um, we did an extended column test here and didn't get any propagating results in our most recent storm snow. However, what we are finding here on the south aspect is several crusts that are buried from earlier in the year. And we actually were able to uh, get some weaker facets a little deeper below a crust to propagate on 25 taps. So even though we're not highlighting persistent slab structures here on these southerly aspects, um, and not all south aspects are showing signs of unstable snow. We still need to consider these and poke around and realize that some of them have a complex crust faceted structure. And if we might find a part of the slope that didn't have this much storm snow, we, we still could be able to impact these deeper weak layers and possibly trigger an avalanche.